Second grade, what's going on? Mr. Hunter here with your second grade health lesson for today. Um, it is not a long lesson, but it is a very, 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 somebody say very. Somebody else say very. Somebody else say very. I think you guys get the point. Uh, it's a very important lesson. Today's lesson is about your teeth. Let me see your big smile. Everybody smile at the camera. All right, why are your teeth important? Why do you think your teeth are important? Well, if you guys are thinking of some reasons, number one, your teeth are, are, are pretty much like a, a mirror, like they show you, they show your personality. Your teeth are so important. First off, they show your personality. God gave them to you as a gift. He gave them to you as a gift because number one, you need your teeth to eat. You need your teeth to eat to devour the food, to break up the food that you have so that you can be able to be uh, fully nourished and not be hungry and not starve. Your teeth are a great representation of you. When we see your beautiful smile, we see your big smiles. I know we got some great smiles in our class. Ada, Mackenzie, Michael tries not to hold it in. Solomon, you smile too. And Naomi, obviously, you guys all have wonderful smiles. God gave that as an identifier for you. When people see you, they can recognize you by your personality. But the first thing they see is you. And you don't want to see somebody over here that's... No, we want to see those big, wonderful smiles. We want to see those wonderful smiles that kind of make people feel good. Sometimes, you know, I know people, I have friends in my life that when they just smile at me, I feel better. When they look at me, I'm like, man, thank you. You know, it's something I do. And I try to be the same person, the same person to them. So we're going to talk about our teeth today, all right? Your teeth are very, 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 I said it already, very, very important, very important, all right? I'm going to share with you a little bit. We're going to be on page 48 and 49. Okay, we're going to be on page 48 and 49. So why are we talking about your teeth? Why are we talking about your teeth? Well, your teeth have very important jobs. They are to break the food, to break the food. Everybody say break. They break the food into small bits and to begin the digestion of your food. So when you eat your apple, your teeth break down the apple, then all the nutrients are able to go throughout your entire body. To chew the food properly, your teeth should be in good condition. Let me ask you guys a question. You guys are a certain age right now, and you're only seven. Some of you are eight. When you guys take care of your teeth now, do you think your teeth are going to be good when you get older? Yeah. What if you don't take care of your teeth right now? What do you think is going to happen when you get older? Like, Mr. Hunter, I'm older than you guys. Almost told you how old I am, but I'm not. You see my teeth? I have all my teeth. I'm smiling. They look clean. They're nice and white. They're healthy. But if I didn't take care of my teeth when I was at you guys' age, do you think I'd still have all my teeth now? No? Do you think my teeth would look nice? No. So you have to take care of your teeth. They should be in good condition. You have to brush your teeth well. Everybody knows how to brush their teeth up and down, get in between, get the back of your mouth. The germs, you don't want them to grow. There's germs that there's out there. And if you don't brush your teeth well, there's germs that will stay in your mouth. I know it sounds nasty. I know it's not something you want to hear about or that sounds pretty, but you definitely want to take care of getting all the germs out your mouth, getting all the food out your mouth and making sure that your teeth are clean. So after you eat, if you're at home, you can brush your teeth, but usually you want to brush your teeth when you wake up and when you go to sleep. If you want to brush them more than that, totally fine, and I'm not going to stop you, but you definitely want to make sure you're at least brushing your teeth two times a day, all right? You want to get each tooth, each tooth, not just one tooth, each tooth individually to make sure you're taking care of all of them. Do you brush your teeth really quickly and then just go on your way? No. Do you only brush the front of your teeth? All right, what if I just brush the back? What if I just brush one side today and then, like, I brush the left side in the morning and I brush the right side at night? No, you want to brush your teeth all at the same time in great sweat and, and make sure they're great. Now, here's the thing. What if I had a toothbrush in January and I'm still using it in December? Should that happen? No, that's an old toothbrush. You want to make sure your toothbrushes are actually fresh and clean and they're new. Because if your toothbrush is too old, it won't be able to brush your teeth as clean your teeth as well as it needs to be. And then guess what? your teeth will have that mold and those, those things start growing back there. The, the germs, they'll grow back and your toothbrush will not do the work. And so you need, need something clean, need something good. Um, each member of the family should have their own toothbrush. So should you be using your mom's toothbrush? No. If you're using your brother's toothbrush? No. Should you brush the cat or the dog's teeth and then use that same toothbrush? No. I saw you guys. I know that will wake you up right there. I know that will wake you up. So don't do that, all right? Um, what I want to talk to you guys about today as well, is there's something that in addition to brushing your teeth, this is what we call floss. Everybody see that? That's what we call floss, floss. Now, you guys are young, and you may not use this right now, but Mr. Hunter, I use floss. And floss, what happens is the teeth get brushed by the toothbrush. And even if you have a new one, you still may not be able to get everything clean. So the tooth, the, the floss, actually gets inside of the tooth, and it makes sure that everything is taken out. So you put the floss, it's like a little tiny string, 
I don't know if you guys have ever seen it here. See that little tiny string? And you just take it and you go, get in between the teeth and it make and it kits out anything that's in there. Now they have little picks and little things you could do nowadays that you can get the two, uh, the floss and just put it in there like a little pick and get it out. It doesn't hurt, but you'd rather do it yourself. You'd rather do it yourself than to have to go to the dentist and they have to do that. And then you could have a cavity or something wrong with your teeth. You don't want that. You don't want that at all. Okay. Um, I want you guys to look at page 48. We were just talking about that. We're going to do a little bit more talking here in a second, but let's look at it. Our, our vocabulary words today are cavities. Everybody say cavities. They're dentists and they're bristles, bristles, okay? And you guys are gonna have a little video about dentists uh, in your YouTube channel, so I hope you guys watch that afterwards here. All right, your teeth. Keeping your teeth clean helps to prevent cavities. You should brush your teeth as soon as possible after you eat. So remember, I said brush your teeth twice, but right here in the book it says after you eat. So if you eat and you're at home, brush your teeth after you eat. Brush your teeth at lunch, brush your teeth. Just always try to keep your teeth clean, all right? If you cannot brush them right away, you should rinse your mouth with water. Your toothbrush should be kept dry when you are not using it. Most dentists recommend a toothbrush that has soft bristles. Everybody say soft bristles, okay? Bristles that are too hard, they can harm your gums. So if you get some bristles that are brushing your teeth and they can injure your gums and even sometimes if you brush them too hard, it can actually make them bleed and that's not good, all right? What you wanna do is while you're brushing your teeth, do not push too hard on the toothbrush. So just glide it up and down, don't, don't. Scrub it in there. You don't want to hurt yourself, all right? Do not push too hard on the toothbrush. Only the tips of the bristles can clean your teeth. So if you ever take your toothbrush in there and put it backwards and just use that part, that's not going to clean. You need the bristles. The bristles will clean. If your toothbrush is squashed, if it's worn out, it will not clean your teeth well. It'll still clean a little bit, but it won't clean them well. You probably will need a new toothbrush every three to four months. So if we're doing that, that's, that's about four toothbrushes a year. So you should get about four toothbrushes every year, all right? Now, always brush your teeth well. Sometimes brush them well, a little bit brush them well. No, always brush your teeth well. Brush only two or three teeth at a time. And be sure you brush every tooth, not just one tooth, every tooth. Use short strokes and brush gently. And remember to brush the insides and the tops of your teeth too. Look at page 49. The vocabulary word that we're using is flossing. Remember, flossing. Everybody say flossing. It's not the dance. It's not the dance. No, the dance is not the floss. That, that's what they call it, but they're talking about flossing, all right? I know what you guys are talking about. Flossing also helps to keep your teeth clean. When your teeth are flossed, tiny pieces of food between the teeth are removed. Your teeth should be flossed at least once a day before you brush them. So you guys are younger, but as you get older, this is what you want to do. Learn to floss your own teeth. It may be easier for you to floss them if you tie about 10 inches of floss into a loop. So you look at that guy's loop, the little boy's loop. Slide the floss between your teeth and scrape the side of your tooth as you pull out the floss. Be careful to floss between all your teeth. So not just the front, not just the side, not just the one in here that everybody can see. No, you wanna get all of them, okay? Now, looking at this, there are different animals that need different teeth. So all of us, we're humans, we're men and women, we all have the same types of teeth, but animals, they have different teeth, all right? God gave them the teeth that they need. Tigers, foxes, wolves, and lions, they have fangs, or these are called canine teeth, all right? These are teeth that hang at the corners of their mouth. These teeth are used for tearing the meat, and guess what? They have to kill their meat, they have to kill their food, so they're used for killing the food and tearing the meat so they can eat. These animals eat meat, but they have to tear the, the meat into small pieces. They can't eat the whole thing, so they have to use their fangs, the canine teeth, to get small, small pieces. Cows, horses, and deer, guess what they eat? They eat plants, okay? They have grinding teeth to crush and grind the hay, the corn, and the grass. And a cow, it doesn't have that many teeth. It only has lower front teeth, and the cow has to twist their head and it helps her gather all the grass you need. So if you see the cow, they're going like this. They're doing that on purpose. They only have teeth in the front. All right, what's another animal? Rabbits and squirrels. They have two large curved teeth or chisels. Everybody say chisel. The chisels are in the front of their jaw and these are sharp teeth. So you don't wanna get bit by a squirrel or a rabbit. They gnaw on corn. They, they gnaw on the corn, they're like, Ugh. 
grip it like that. And they do that to carrots, apples, and corn. Squirrels, they use their sharp teeth. What do squirrels eat? I think we know. They eat nuts. So they, they use their teeth to get the nuts. Guess what? Even they have to protect their teeth. Even they, if they lose their teeth, they man, it might not be good. If a squirrel loses a tooth, he's not going to be able to crack the nut open. If, if a lion or something else doesn't have their fang, like a fox and a tiger, if they don't have their fangs, they won't be able to catch their prey and, and be able to kill it so they can actually tear the food up and eat. So these are things that they all need. Everybody, all of us were created with a specific purpose, and that was done by God and God alone. So even something as small as a tooth really, really, really is important. And if we only get one tooth in the beginning of our lives, and then we get an adult tooth, and that tooth grows in, guess what? You want to take good care of that because there's no more teeth after that, right? They do have doctors that can perform procedures and put in a fake tooth, but you don't want a fake tooth. You want to keep your tooth. And how do you keep your tooth? By taking good care. All right. Um, be, be on the lookout in your video today. I'm going to have some videos of dentists and other things in there, but I hope you guys enjoyed that lesson. I, I love your smile. So make sure you take good care of them. All right. I'll see you tomorrow.